citizens be afforded the opportunity to attain a decent, safe, and sound living environment, and whereas Dillon County rejects discrimination on the basis of race, religion, color, sex, national origin, disability, and or family, familiar status, family status in their sale, rental, or provision of other housing services, and whereas the state of South Carolina enacted the South Carolina Fair Housing Law in 1998, whereas April is recognized nationally as Fair Housing Month, now therefore it be resolved by that Dillon County does designate April 2022 as Fair Housing Month, adopted this day of April 2022 by the Dillon County Council. Of tracks for Highway 34 expansion. Mr. Chairman and Council, I handed you up. Uh, we just got this survey yesterday. Um, there are three, if you look at it this way, north, north is up. These three larger tracks here. This is out on 34. This area, as you're looking at it, is around where the quick trip, where the quick trips, I think is what it's called, stop will be. The expansion of 34 that we've been discussing is going to require a widening of the of 34 another 25 feet. There's not going to be a problem with the area around quick trips. They're going to, from my understanding, they're just going to give that land to us. These property owners, however, we're, we've been dealing with trying to negotiate um, a price for this 25-foot strip of land from them. And we may still be able to negotiate a, a, a deal with them, but if not, I need approval to, to condemn 
what is called condemnation, but it basically is, is taking the land, pay it, paying in a, a fair price, an appraised price, which we think is going to end up being about $25,000 per track. Um, but I need approval from council to, in, to initiate uh, a proceeding to allow us to actually take this land for a, per, for a public purpose, for expanding the roadway. Uh, for each one of these three tracks. And again, um, it's, 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 we have the, the money to cover it because we're under budget on the bids, which you're going to talk about next. But um, I, I, and again, I hope, I hope we are successful in negotiating a, a price with them. If not, we'll have to actually file a lawsuit. Somebody told me that the uh, landowners well, they, 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 they think there may be a tax benefit and us doing a condemnation instead of a sale, and that may be right. I don't know the answer to that for them. But um, we are in the process of sending out another letter for, at another price trying to come up with, with something that we can bring back to you that, that makes sense. If not, I still need approval if that fails because it's kind of a lengthy process to do. I need approval to begin the, the condemnation proceedings if we need to do that in the event we fail to negotiate the process. If you will, please. And the, and the map I provided you are three tracks that, it's these three eastern tracks that you see. It's kind of hard, I know it's kind of hard to see, but this is as big as I could get it. The three, this track, this track, and this track, 25 feet from the present right of way into the, all of those tracks. We have a motion to uh, condemn this property if we can't meet the uh, agreement with them. And we got a motion and a second. I second that, Mr. Chairman. Any more discussion? On the favor, raise your right hand. Roadway improvement to South Carolina Highway 34, I'm 95, Logistics Drive, Harbor Freight Road bids and recommendations. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have the bid. You want to read it? You want me to read it? I can read it if you'd like to. That's the bid that we received. We received two bids. Um, the engineer is recommending the low bid, which is a local company, Drigger's Construction Company. And I think you all have seen this before, but I don't know if we formally voted on it, but it's, uh, I'll read the letter. Um, on March 10th, 2022 at 2 p.m., Dillon County received two bids from potential contractors for the roadway improvements for South Carolina Highway 34, I-95 Logistics Drive and Harbor Freight Road at the more or less 1,720-acre I-95 Super Park in unincorporated Dillon County. Alliance Consulting Engineers Incorporated have reviewed the bids and prepared the attached certified bid tabulation, bid comparison sheet, bid opening proceedings, and bid opening sign-in sheet for the reference project for your consideration. Based on a review of the bids submitted and positive review of the contractor, subcontractor qualifications, Alliance Consulting Engineers Incorporated recommends that the contract for the road Way improvements to South Carolina Highway 34, I-95 Logistics Drive, and Harbor Freight Road at the more or less 1,720 acres I-95 Super Park in unincorporated Dillon County for Dillon County be awarded to the low bidder Driggers Construction LLC of Hamer, South Carolina for the project base bid in the amount of $3,058,515.70. If Dillon County is in agreement with the recommendation outlined above, please sign and date the two enclosed copies of the notice of intent to award and return one copy to the office and keep the other copy for use and reference. Also enclosed are five copies of the notice of award. Please sign and date all five copies of the notice of award and return all five copies to our office at your earliest convenience. And then they just have, if you have questions, you can contact them at a particular number. They did a good job. They, they, they're working out there right now yeah. at, at the site. Yeah. 
They're working out the site now. They're doing some construction work out the land. And, and their bid was considerably under what we thought it was going to be. I make that motion, Mr. Chairman. Okay, second. Any discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. Number eight, order the second reading in order to change zoning map classification from residential to RS2 to rural RU tax map number 118 00 432, 12.64 acres, property owned, bus and land. Outdoors LLC proposed location West Canal Road, Lava, South Carolina. We have a motion to pass the second reading. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor, raise your right hand. Eight B second reading authorizing the issuance and sale of not exceeding two million five hundred thousand general obligation bond sale twenty twenty two B of Dillon County, South Carolina, fixing the form and details of the bond, providing for the payment of the bond, authorizing the chairman of the county council, county administrator, or in, or in the county administrator to determine certain matters relating to the bond provided for the payments of the bond, the disposition of the proceeds of the bond, and other matters related thereto. We have a motion to approve the second reading. Make a motion. We have a motion there, sir. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. I thought we'd have some discussion on that. Um, I spoke to the yeah. I did speak to Alan earlier and I asked him when he clarified um, this for our purposes as well as the public. Um, I mean, there was a lot of questioning and concern about last week when there were four council persons here that were passing this and the majority of the council, whatever the case may be. Also, we need to discuss what are our plans for the moment. Probably you're going to use it on that landfill, that new yeah. uh, transfer I'd be glad to read that out to you if you want yeah. me to. Yeah. Uh, I thought that they, you know, I thought everybody knew about it. Today, I, I think most do, but my, some have not had the opportunity okay. to, right. to hear it, so i would be glad to read it out. Uh, the, the bond money will basically be for the transfer station. Uh, secondly, y'all had mentioned some concerns about the fuel systems and all that we have. So part of it will be used in that arena to, to get that corrected like y'all mentioned y'all would like to see it done. So it's more accountable. Uh, we don't know how many pumps we might have to replace. We think at least one, possibly two. And, and they aren't cheap. But part of the bond will be used for that. Uh, also, we need to upgrade the financial system that we have in the treasurer's office now. That's one that's been there for, how long did she tell us, Matthew? About 13 years. And it needs to be upgraded. What is so, it, computers or stuff? What computers, it? right. The, the software itself. Soft, yeah. The software that's on the computers, right. right. And the last thing would be to purchase two motor graders. Now we've got about two that we can depend on. We, we, we have two. Well, we have one we can depend on, one that some, most of the time it's running, but not all the time. I just think it's time for us to start cycling those so that y'all don't have to buy four or five of them at one time. Clear up the other question. If you've got a quorum, as long as the majority of the quorum votes in favor, that's it. We've done that. Numerous times. Well, that's right. But, but Mr. Uh, Councilman Campbell did contact me about well, with that question. Yeah, he, uh, Councilman Campbell did contact me. He just had a concern about the number of votes. I believe this was the main concern: the number of votes that were that were voted in favor of the first reading of the geo bond. Um, and I, I checked on it for him to make sure I was right because I thought I was right, but I would check to make sure. Uh, uh, you have to have four to have a quorum. 
and then a majority vote in there on a geo bond issue does pass um, whether it's three or what whatever the number is as long as it's a majority and that that was council Campbell's concern uh, I think before there had been a three three vote on something and that was three votes but you have three votes for and three against so if that in that case it fails but with a three two vote it does pass so it was a legitimate uh, question he, he asked and and I hope that clears clears that up for me Okay, we have, we have a motion here. Was the motion second? Yeah. Okay. The only favor of uh, the second reading, raise your right hand. Okay, uh, we have a motion number nine, executive session, contracts will matter, pineapple palace. Do we have a motion to go into executive session? I make that motion, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Okay. Only favor, raise your right hand. We're going into executive session, session where no action was taken. Now we have a motion to adjourn. I made that motion. I second. The motion to be made in a second. All in favor, raise your right hand.